Good morning, my friends. Happy Friday. We're almost near the weekend now. All right. Good morning to all our parents and all our teachers from all our location. And once again, thank you, parents, for all the support you've been giving us. And parents, in case your child is celebrating your birthday, don't forget to post that in our comment section so that we can sing for your child. And my friends, I hope you're ready with your art materials for today and you're excited to learn a new presentation. And now, are you ready for the phonics and calendar? Okay, Miss Mavi is here to do that. Have fun! Good morning, my friends, and happy Friday! Are we ready? Are I here, you guys? Are we ready? Good job! Okay. Let's... Who know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, ah, ah, ah. Apple, apple, ah, ah, ah. Baby, baby, buck, buck, buck. Baby, baby, buck, buck, buck. Yo, 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 yo,
Mavic Club on the day of w w Wednesday. Mm -mm. Did I clap on the day of Friday? That is right, Miss Mavic Club on the day of Friday because today is Friday. Friday. Today is Friday. 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 What a happy day. Friday, today is Friday, Friday, Friday now. What are you guys are going to do today? Are you guys going to go to your backyard? Or are you guys going to go for a walk? Yeah? Are you guys going to watch a movie with mommy or daddy? And have some yummy snack? Yeah? Okay, if you are doing do if you I, if you are doing that, that is awesome. Okay, so today is Friday. That means yesterday was Thursday. You are right. T -t Thursday, my friend. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday, and tomorrow will be. Do you say Saturday? Can you say a louder? Saturday! Yes, that's right. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Now, how many months do we have in a week? Do we have seven months? Or we have 12 months? Yes, we have 12 months in a year. They are 12 months. They are 12 months. They are 12 months in a year. They are 12 months. They are 12 months. They are 12 months in a year. Where's the first month? January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August. September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the years. Fill them with joy and with tears. The months of the years. Now, what month are we in? Uh, we are in the month of January. Uh, we are in the month of September. You are right. We are in the month of May. Can you guys say May? May. And may you start with the letter mm -hmm. M. Good job. Let's see how many days we have gone through the month of May, my friends. Are you guys ready to do counting? Good job. Are you guys ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and today is Friday. What number is this? Yes, fifteen. We are moving to the day of fifteen, to the number fifteen. Okay, so today is Friday, May 15th. 2020 2020 now what is next that's right the weather how's the weather outside how's the weather how's the weather how's the weather out today how's the weather how's the weather how's the weather out today it's a sunny it's a windy it's a cloudy out today. It's a raining or a snowing. How the weather out today? How is the weather today? Is Mr. Sun out in your window? Because in my window, Mr. Sun is not out. So, how about in your window? Can you write on the comments, how is the weather outside? Okay, I see. The today the weather is cloudy. Maybe Mr. Sun will come a little bit later today. Let's see. Let's keep an eye on Mr. Sun. And if Mr. Sun's not coming out, let's sing to Mr. Sun, okay? Maybe he will come out if you're sing. Okay, now Spanish. My friends, ¿cuántos días tenemos en la semana? Let's see. ¿Cuántos días tenemos en la semana? ¿Dijeron siete? ¿Siete días? That's right. Siete días, siete días, siete días en la semana. Siete días, siete días, siete días en la semana. Domingo, lunes. Martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. How do we say Sunday in Spanish? I can hear you, my friends. Do you say domingo? Yes, domingo, Monday. Lunes, Tuesday, Martes, Wednesday, Miércoles, Thursday, Jueves, Friday, Viernes, Sábado, Sábado is Saturday. Good job. You see, I'm tricking you guys. I want to see if you guys are awake. Okay, and what day is today? ¿Qué día es ahora? Ahora es viernes. Good job. Buen trabajo. Ahora es miércoles. Ahora es viernes. Ayer fue jueves. Jueves. Y mañana va a ser sábado. ¿Qué you say sábado? Sábado. ¿Y cuántos meses tenemos en el año? Tenemos 12 meses. 12 meses. Vamos a decirlos. 12 meses. 12 meses. 12 meses en el año. 12 meses. 12 meses. 12 meses en el año. Enero. Febrero, marzo y abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, en diciembre. Estos son los meses del año. How do we say January? Enero, enero, February, febrero. March, marzo, April, abril, May, mayo, June, junio, 
July, Julio, August, Agosto, September, September, October, Octubre, November, Noviembre, December, Diciembre. Y ahora vamos a contar. You guys want to count with me? Okay. Uno, dos, Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte, veintiuno. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31. Tenemos 31 días en el mes de mayo. 31 days on the, day, on the month of May. And now, what's next? We are done with the phonics. We already did the calendar. Now it is time for a presentation and I am going to get a rug, my friends. I'm gonna use my walking feet and my hands behind my back. And one top, one in the bottom. And I'm going to place my rug. And if you guys don't have a rug, it's okay. You guys can um, do your worksheets in the table or whatever you feel comfortable doing it. I'm going to get my material. Okay. Okay, my friends, so today I will be presenting a job and it can be from for language or sensorial job. And this one is going to be from small to large. And I have a couple of things that I just made myself. Uh, okay. How is it? Start from here? Yeah, that? Okay. I'm going to start from the smallest, medium, and I'm going to finish with the large. And I am using some... What is this? What shape is this? Is this circle? Yes, you are right. This is circle shape. And my friends, you think this big circle fit in this small circle? No, right? Do you think this medium circle fit in the large circle? Mm -mm. How about the small circle? Do you think goes in the middle? Is this matching, my friends? <laughs> no, right? Okay, now it is time to put it, to put it in order, and we are going to start with the small circle. I'm gonna get my two fingers, and I'm gonna go. Yes. Is this with this, or this with this? Let's see. That is right. Now, my last circle. Small, medium, and large. And what shape is this? This is circle shape. Okay, now, if you guys don't have this, this, you can tell mommy or daddy to make circles with paper. If you have, if you don't have different color papers, you guys can uh, color it first and then mommy can cut it out in any shape you want. So I make these circles and I'm going to start. What shape is this? Circle. What color is this? Is this a blue color? 
You think this one goes here? <laughs> okay. So what is my first circle? This is a small circle, right? And what color? Red. This is red circle. And I'm going to put it inside that small. Now, what's my next? It's green. Okay. And I am going to match my friends. You think you go here? Or right here? Or here? That is right. Now I'm going to my last one. And what color it is? My last shape is blue color. I have a blue big circle that I'm going to mash it inside. And if you guys don't want to cut out the shapes, but you have crayons, mommy can make some circles or any shape and you just can color. And my friend, how do we say red in Spanish? Do you guys know how do we say red in Spanish? We say rojo. Can we say rojo? Rojo. Good job, my friends. Now, what color is this? Is this green color? And how do we say green in Spanish? Verde. Can you guys say verde? That's right. In Spanish, green is verde. And my last shape. What color is my last shape? Is azul. That's this is how we say blue in Spanish. Azul. Is Miss Mommy going out of the blue line? No. She's staying inside of the blue line. And this is my presentation. And also, my friends, I can glue it. If you have glue and you don't want to color, you just can glue the circles. Small. Medium. And large. And I also have one more worksheet. I'm going to put this back. Because I'm not going to be needing this anymore. And I'm going to get my second worksheet. Now I have this one too. This one is the same, small, medium, and large. What is this? What is this? Is this a fruit or a vegetable? It is a fruit. And what is the name of this fruit, friends? It is grapes. It is grapes. In, Sp in Spanish, we say uva. And what color is the uva? It is purple so i'm going to call it purple if you have this worksheet you can do it with me small medium and large now what is this it's a small apple medium apple big apple and the apple is red it can be yellow. It can be green. What What is your favorite color? I like green apples, but I am going to color red right now. We have small, medium, and large. Pequeño, mediano, grande. Okay, now we have a pear. Who likes pear? I love pears. Pequeño, mediano, grande. Small, medium, large.
Okay, now I am all done. And I'm pretty sure you have this other worksheet with you. These ones are shapes. And then same thing, small, medium, large, pequeño, mediano, y grande. And this one, you can trace. I'm going to make one line only. And then you can finish the rest with mommy and daddy. You see, I'm going to get my marker and I'm going to trace it. Small, medium, large. And what shape is this? This is an oval shape. And I'm going to be using amarillo, yellow color, to color inside. Small, medium, and large. And you guys can finish the rest of the shapes. Trace it if you know how to trace and color. Now Miss Mommy is all done. And today I present to you a job from my sister Michelle and it's small medium and large and if you have any objects at home you can look around and you can see what is a small what can you find a medium size or a large it can be anything my friends it doesn't have to be shape and thank you now it's time to do some movements are you ready i am so excited because we need to move our bodies right that is right, with Miss Yopi, of course. All right, my friends, are you ready to have some fun? Let's play your favorite song today. Before that, let me go get my felt board. Keep guessing what song we're gonna do now. All right. Okay, I have my felt board. Ooh, what, what are all these? Fish, you're right, my friends. Hmm, so many fishes. Are you ready to sing the song now? Okay, let's turn. Have some fun with it more and more. All right, now 
let's do our math presentation. And I know you all are waiting to hear a story again. All right, let's clean up. saying two and you saying zero yes you're right two zero twenty again two zero twenty so let us write our name before we do our worksheet and for my friends who are learning how to write you can ask mommy or daddy to write the names of you on the worksheet. I'm all right, Miss Jyoti. And today is May 15, 2020. All right. So, let us color today. I like to color the numbers today. So, my friends, you can either use watercolors. Or you can use your crayons, or if you have your dot painting, you can do dot painting. And let's try to color within these two black lines as much as possible. You know, you can also use two different colors. One color for number two and the other color for zero. Almost done. My color ring. Okay. Did you also do the coloring with me? Well, if you haven't finished that, it's okay. You can take your time and finish it later. And now, let us do our tracing and again don't forget to write your name and put the date and now let's try to trace on the dotted line i'm using a marker so that my friends can see it you can use a pencil or a color pencil or you want to use a marker you can use that too. Again, let's try to trace on the dot. Hmm, are we done already? Yes. All right, so again, two, zero, 20. And now, our counting worksheet. What does it say on the worksheet? Color the boats. Count the boats color the number so let's count the boats and for you my friends i'll leave it for you to color the numbers and you can also color the boats you know what i'm using little gems today so that it looks glittery let's start counting are you ready okay let's start one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
and 20. Good job, my friends. You did a great job counting with me. And now, would you be coloring the number later along with the boat? All right, so once you do that, you can ask mommy or daddy to put the coloring sheet, what you've done in our comment section. Okay, so remember to put your counters back once you're done. Almost. If you have your toy cards, you can use them as counters or you can use color pencils or crayons too. Or if you want to use beads, you can use that too. But make sure either mommy or daddy is beside you so that you don't put it in your mouth. Now good. All right. Let's put our worksheets back. Okay, my friends. With my three fingers, let me roll the rug. Roll, roll, pull. Roll, roll. Roll and pull. Roll, roll and pull. Okay, one hand at the top, the other at the bottom. Use your fucking feet again. And make yourself comfortable on your favorite chair or on the couch. And be ready to listen to a story. Let me go grab my chair while you're getting ready. I know my friends are eager and waiting to see what story we're going to read today. <gasps> what story is this? You see a monkey? A penguin? Hmm, curious George at the aquarium. I like this book. I know my friends like this book too. Curious George at the Aquarium by R.P. Anderson. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and the man with the yellow hat were visiting the aquarium. George, said the man, please wait here while I buy the tickets. George tried to wait but he was so excited what was inside he wanted to look over the walls but they were too high do you see george trying to speak how do you know the wall is too high just then he heard a splash and a whoosh water flew high in the air people cheered what could that be? George was curious. He hopped over the gate into the aquarium. How surprised he was. Oh, look at George here. Swimming right in front of George were two beluga whales. The mother and baby beluga whale swam right past him. And now far away was a family of sea lions diving and splashing. What fun! George noticed people walking towards a big door. Could there be more to see? He followed the crowd. Now, where was he? It was darker inside and there were fish everywhere. George did not know where to look first. In one tank, there were sharp-toothed piranhas. In another tank, there were seahorses. And in another tank, there were large red octopus. George saw a group of children across the room. An aquarium staff member was pointing to different Sea creatures. This is a starfish. This is a clam. And this is an urchin. Nearby, there was a low, long, low, colorful tank. It was perfect for touching. Hmm, isn't this nice? George was curious. As he reached his hand into the water, a large crab came 
cutting out from under a rock and right toward his finger. Snap! Ouch! Poor George! He did not like this exhibit. Uh-oh, let the church. George slipped out the door into the sunlight. But oh, what was going on here? George saw fat, funny looking black and white flying black and white flying fish under the water. As he watched, they flew up out of the water. What kind of fish does that? And where did they go? George wondered. Hmm, look at George again, looking at all the flying fishes. George climbed up and into your exhibit. Oh, George is inside now. Now, right. They were not they were not fish at all, but penguins, of course. George hopped like a penguin, flapped his wings like a penguin, and waited like a penguin. A crowd gathered and laughed. But when he slid on his belly like a penguin, oh, look at the silly George here, huh? He's trying to be a penguin now. The aquarium staff stopped by to check on the penguins. A monkey in the penguin exhibit. George opened a door to escape, but instead, all the penguins ran out. Penguins, penguins everywhere. Uh-oh, look, all the penguins are out. The staff was angry at George. How could they catch all the penguins? In all the excitement, nobody noticed the penguin chick falling into the water. No one but George. The baby penguin hadn't learned to swim yet. As only a monkey can, George scaled the rope hanging over the beluga tank and swing over the water, saving the chick. That's nice of George. The director of the aquarium and the man with the yellow hat heard the commotion and came running. The monkey held the baby penguin, said a boy in the crowd. No one else would have saved him, said a girl. The director thanked George for his help and made him an honorary staff member of the aquarium. George said goodbye to his new penguin friends. He could not wait to come back to the aquarium and visit them again. The end. Hmm, my friends, that was Initially, George didn't do a good job because he hopped into the place where the penguins were there. But later, the staff was happy with George because he saved a little penguin drowning in the water. Hmm, I bet you like the story. I liked it too. All right, my friends. That was the end of our session for 18 months to three years old. And from 11 to 11.45, the session for three to four and a half years old will begin and from one to one forty five the session for four and a half to six years old and now parents as always we have our worksheets uploaded on our website please feel free to download them and give it to your child and for monday's art uh, we would request you to have a green and a red color paper and a paper plate because we are doing Watermelon art. All right, my friends. Time to say bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. See you Monday.